Hi this is Daisy from Newscasting Corp. Today we will be going to start a new playlist which will be very useful for the viewers relating travel. Travel is nowadays very common in our daily life. Now before that if you're not subscribed our channel please like, share and subscribe. We started this channel one week before so please make her subscription will help us to explore more and give you better information thank you. Let's start. Today we will be going to wildlife and nature and this we will tell you popular destinations for wildlife. Now we're going to United States of America. Here we will tell you what are the important places to cover. Best things to do in Yellowstone National Park plus essential tips for your visit. Yellowstone National Park is the world's first national park and is known for its beautiful hot springs, mud pots, geysers, and incredible wildlife. We've visited twice, and out of all the national parks we've explored so far, it's been our least favorite because of the type of visitors it attracts. It's a popular park and even their newspaper will tell you to pack your patience. Here's our in-depth guide to help you see all the top attractions and then find ways to escape the crowds. Here is a guide which will help you a lot. Overview of the park First of all, the park is huge and can be overwhelming with all there is to do. It's the 8th largest national park in the U.S. and spans 3,472 square miles with a low elevation of 5,282 feet and high elevation of 11,358 feet. There are over 900 miles of trails and 80% of the park is covered in forest. Most of the park is located in the northeast corner of Wyoming and spills over to Idaho and Montana. There are five entrances to the park and once you're in the roads form a large figure eight. To help you navigate through the park, we will highlight each major area of the park, and what we thought was worthwhile. If you want a more detailed map, here's one from MPS. We'll be writing more detailed guides on each area of the park. Visitor Centers We always start our visit to the park at one of the visitor centers. You can learn more about the current conditions of the park as well as get insight from rangers on how to spend your time there. They are typically open late May to early October unless otherwise noted below. Hours vary based on location and season, see them here. Albright, Mammoth, Visitor Center, Open Year Round. Canyon Visitor Education Center, Open Late April to Early November. Fishing Bridge Visitor Center and Trailside Museum Grant Visitor Center Madison Information Station and Trailside Museum Museum of the National Park Ranger, open late May to late September Norris Geyser Basin Museum and Information Station Old Faithful Visitor Education Center West Thumb Information Station West Yellowstone Visitor Information Center Open year round. Next, Mammoth Hot Springs area. Though you can start by exploring the area from where you enter, for this guide, we'll be starting from the northeast corner of the park and going clockwise. Mammoth Hot Springs is one of the most popular areas of the park where you see the iconic terraces. Next, Highlights Albright Visitor Center. Originally quarters for single army officers but now you can learn about the history and wildlife of Yellowstone here. Mammoth Hot Springs Terraces, walk along the boardwalks and stairs that take you through the hydrothermal terraces that are constantly changing. The springs are colorful when active and white when dry. What you see, Opal Terrace, Liberty Cap, Hyman Terrace, Devil's Thumb, Minerva Terrace, Pallet Spring. Cleopatra Terrace, New Blue Spring, Main Terrace, Canary Spring, Cupid Spring, Grassy Spring, Dryad Spring, Mount Terrace, Jupiter Terrace, and Reservoir Springs. Upper Terrace Drive, 1.5 mile drive on a paved road. It wasn't as scenic as we were told, but it's not a crowded area and you see Prospect Terrace, New Highland Terrace, Orange Spring Mound, Bath Lake. White Elephant Back Terrace, and Angel Terrace. 
Horse Corral parking area has a view of Fort Yellowstone and Canary Springs. Historic Fort Yellowstone, take a tour of this wilderness outpost that was used in the 1800s to manage poaching, vandalism, and squatters. Heritage and Research Center a few miles away from Mammoth Hot Springs is this state-of-the-art facility that houses Yellowstone's museum collection, archives, library, and archaeology lab. Old Gardner Road, see the scenery and Yellowstone River along this dirt road for driving, cyclists, hikers, and cross-country skiers. You can see elk, bison, and antelope here. Roosevelt Arch beautiful stone arch at the north entrance dedicated to the president who was famous for his conservation efforts. Boiling River, you can take a dip in the secret but not so secret Boiling River where the boiling water of the hot springs meets the cool water of the river making it just the right temperature to enjoy. It can get really crowded. Undine Falls, Upper and Lower Falls of Lava Creek. It's a quick stop. Popular Day Hikes. Beaver Ponds Loop, 5 miles RT, 3-4 hours, moderately strenuous. Bunsen Peak, 4.6 miles RT, 2-3 hours, 1,300 feet, moderately strenuous, tallest mountain in the Gallatin Range. Lava Creek, 8.5 miles RT, 2-3 hours, moderately strenuous. Rescue Creek, 16 miles RT. 8-12 hours, strenuous. Sepulchre Mountain, 11 miles RT, 6-8 hours, 3,400 feet, strenuous. Wraith Falls, 1 mile RT, 0.51 hour, easy, 90 foot cascades. Next. Tower Roosevelt Area. The Tower Roosevelt area is special because Thomas Moran's paintings of Tower Falls and Calcite Springs Overlook played an important role in the establishment of Yellowstone National Park in 1872. Highlights Blacktail Plateau Drive, 6-mile scenic one-way drive through Elk Creek Gorge that is partly paved and partly gravel. Avoid driving it if it rained recently. It's a popular area to spot black bears. We drove it three times on different days and unfortunately didn't see any here. Petrified Tree, Specimen Ridge has the largest concentration of petrified trees in the world. Roosevelt Lodge, built in 1920. Calcite Springs Overlook, short walk to see the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone at the narrowest point, a 132 waterfall and basalt columns. Tower Fall, 132-foot waterfall that's been documented since the 1800s. Lamar Buffalo Ranch, historic ranch originally built to increase bison herd sizes. Lamar Valley, one of the most popular spots for wildlife viewing. We only saw pronghorn and faraway wolves through binoculars, but you can also find bison, black bears, bighorn sheep, elk, grizzlies, and mule deer too. Popular Day Hikes Garnet Hill Loop, 7.6 miles RT, 4-5 hours, moderate. Hellrow Ring, 6.2 miles RT, 3-4 hours, strenuous. Lost Lake Loop, 2.8 miles RT, 1-2 hours, 300 feet, moderate. Slough Creek, to First Meadow, 3.4 miles RT, 2-5 hours, moderate. Trout Lake, 1.2 miles RT, 0.51.5 hours, moderate, see river otters, cutthroat trout, and waterfowl. Yellowstone River Picnic Area, 3.7 miles RT, 2-3 hours, moderate. Next. Canyon Village Area. This area is known as the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. It's roughly 20 miles long and has one of the most popular day hikes, plus gorgeous views of waterfalls and wildlife. Highlights Canyon Visitor Education Center, learn about the supervolcano, geyser, and hot springs at Yellowstone. North Rim Drive, lots of pullouts to see the canyon. Viewpoints include Lookout Point, Grand View. 
and inspiration point to see Lower Falls of Yellowstone. Lower Falls, the larger of the two falls, check at this 308 feet beauty from Lookout Point, Red Rock Point, Artist Point, Brink, and Lower Falls Trail, South Rim Trail, and Uncle Tom's Trail. South Rim Drive, leads to Uncle Tom's Trail and Artist Point. Artist Point, one of the most popular spots in the park giving you a great view of the canyon. Upper Falls, at 109 feet, check at the falls from Upper Falls Trail. Mount Washburn Hike, hike to the 10,243 feet peak to get panoramic views and look for bears along the hillsides. Chittenden Road, short drive up to a great view near Mount Washburn. Hayden Valley, see grizzly bears, bald eagles, bison, black bears, elk, and wolves. Popular day hikes. Cascade Lake, 5 mile RT, 2.53.5 hours, easy, grizzly habitat. Greed Lake, 6.2 mile RT, 3-4 hours, moderately easy. Observation Peak, 9.6 miles, 5 hours, 1,400 feet, strenuous. Ribbon Lake Loop, 5.8 miles RT, 3-4 hours, moderately easy. 7 mile hole, 10 miles, 5-8 hours, strenuous, starts at Glacier Boulder. Mount Washburn, from Den Raven Pass, 6 miles RT, 3-6 hours. 1,343 feet, strenuous vertical bar from Chittenden Road, 5 miles RT, 2.54 hours, 1,393 feet, strenuous. Uncle Tom's Trail, 0.7 mile RT, 1-2 hours, 275, moderate, great spot to see lower falls. Next. Fishing Bridge Area. The fishing bridge area includes Lake Village and Bridge Bay. As the name implies, it was historically a popular spot to fish, but now that fishing is no longer allowed, it's become a place to watch fish instead. Check out the bubbling sounds and smells of the mud pots and fumaroles. This was one of the least exciting part of the park for us, but it was also a good place to get away from the crowds. Highlights Fishing Bridge, watch fish and check at the bridge that was built in 1937. Yellowstone Lake, 136 square mile basin part of the large caldera left by a large volcanic eruption. Mud Volcano and Sulfur Cauldron, check out mud pots and fumaroles, steam vents. We also saw a cute group of short-tailed weasels here. Pelican Valley Another great spot for wildlife viewing in hopes to spot grizzly bears, bison, elk, and more. Natural Bridge, short hike to a beautiful natural bridge. Popular day hikes. Avalanche Peak, 4.2 miles RT, 3-4 hours, 2,100 feet, extremely strenuous. Elephant Back Mountain, 3.5 miles RT. 1.5 to 2.5 hours, 800 feet, moderately strenuous, panorama of Yellowstone Lake. Natural Bridge, 2.5 miles RT, 1 2 hours, easy. Pelican Creek, 0.6 mile RT, 0.51 hour, easy. Pelican Valley, 6.2 miles RT, 3 4 hours, moderately easy. Storm Point, 2.3 miles RT, 1-2 miles, easy. Next. West Thumb Area. The West Thumb Area is home to the largest geyser basin on the shore of Yellowstone Lake. There are tons of hydrothermal features and even some underwater geysers. You can explore via the boardwalk or do a guided kayaking trip. This was my personal favorite area of the park. It was moderately trafficked in comparison to other areas of the park and had beautiful blue hot springs. Highlights West Thumb Geyser Basin, hydrothermal features along Yellowstone Lake. What you see, fumaroles, twin geysers, hillside geyser, abyss pool, black pool, 
Big Cone Fishing Cone, Lakeshore Geyser, Lakeside Spring, Seismograph, and Bluebell Pools, Thumb Paint Pots, Surging Spring, Collapsing Pool, Ledge Spring, Percolating Spring, Thumb Geyser, Perforated Pool, Ephedra Spring, and Blue Funnel Spring. Grant Village Visitor Center, Learn About the Roll Fire That Has Shaped the Park. Shoshone Lake, Second Largest Lake in Yellowstone. Snake River, originates in Yellowstone and continues through Grand Teton National Park. Popular Day Hikes. Duck Lake, 0.8 mile RT, 0.5 minus 1 hour, easy. Lake Overlook, 1.5 miles RT, 1 hour, 400, moderately strenuous. Riddle Lake, 4.8 miles, 2 3 hours, easy. Shoshone Lake, 5.8 miles RT, 2 3 hours, easy. Yellowstone Lake Overlook, 1.5 miles RT, 1 2 hours, moderately strenuous. West Thumb Geyser Basin, 0.6 mile RT, 0.51 hour, easy. Next. Old Faithful Area. This area is easily the most crowded area of the park with the two most popular attractions, Old Faithful and the Grand Prismatic Spring. There are three main geyser basins, Upper, Midway, and Lower. Highlights Upper Geyser Basin has the largest number of fragile features in the park, 150 hydrothermal features in one square mile, including Old Faithful, Beehive Geyser, Castle, Grand, Daisy, and Riverside, Morning Glory Pool, and more. Old Faithful Visitor Center, Upper Geyser Basin Learn more about the geology of this amazing geyser and find out when to expect it to erupt, usually between 60 110 minutes between each eruption. See prediction times here. Old Faithful Inn, Upper Geyser Basin, built in 1903 it is one of the last remaining log hotels in the U.S. Midway Geyser Basin, Yellowstone's largest hot spring, Grand Prismatic Spring. Lower Geyser Basin, Fountain Paint Pots and Great Fountain, which only erupts twice a day within a two-hour window. Lone Star Star Geyser, this geyser erupts every three hours and since it's a bit off the main boardwalks, it will typically be less crowded. Popular Day Hikes Fairy Falls, 5 miles RT, 2-4 hours, easy, tally skinny waterfall with a great view of Grand Prismatic Spring. Grand Prismatic Spring Overlook, 1.2 miles RT, 0.51.5 hours, easy. Lone Star Geyser, 4.8 miles RT, 2-3 hours, easy. Mallard Lake, 6.8 miles RT, 4-6 hours, moderate difficult. Mystic Falls, 2.4 miles RT, 1.52.5 hours, Moderate Difficult Observation Point, 1.6 miles RT, 1-2 hours, 160 feet, Difficult Next Madison Area Artist Paint Pots and Fire Hole Falls both fall in the Madison area. There are lots of short easy hikes to check out and even a swimming area that's popular on hot, summer days. Highlights Artist Paint Pots this small thermal area has colorful hot springs, mud pots, and a section of burned forest. Gibbon Falls, 84-foot cascading waterfall. Madison Information Station, a national historic landmark that has been around since 1929-30 is now a Yellowstone Forever Books Tour. Monument Geyser Basin, Dormant Thermos Bottle-Shaped Geyser Cones. Terrace Springs, Small thermal area with a short bird walk. Fishing, fish the Madison or Firehole River. Firehole Canyon Drive, beautiful scenic drive past 800 foot thick lava flows. Firehole Falls, 40 foot waterfall with a popular swimming area when it's warm. Popular day hikes. Artist paint pots, 1 mile RT, 0.51 hour, easy. Harlequin Lake, 
1 mile RT, 0.51 hour, easy. Monument Geyser Basin, 2 mile RT, 1 2 hour moderate, small geyser area. Purple Mountain, 6 miles RT, 4 6 hours, strenuous. Next. Norris area. This is the hottest and oldest thermal area in the Yellowstone. There are two main areas to explore, Porcelain Basin and Back Basin. There are some extremely active geysers. Highlights Norris Geyser Basin Museum, one of the original trailside museums built in 1929-30. Porcelain Basin, barren of trees, walk along the boardwalk to check out all the thermal features. Congress Pool, Porcelain Springs, Hurricane Vent, Sunday Geyser, Constant Geyser, Whirligig Geyser, Pinwheel Geyser, Whale's Mouth, Crackling Lake, Black Growler Steam Vent, Ledge Geyser. Back Basin, a wooded area with geysers and hot springs spread throughout. Here's what you will see, Emerald Spring, Steamboat Geyser, Cistern Spring, Black Pit Spring. Echinus Geyser, Arch Steam Vent, Mystic Spring, Puff and Stuff Geyser, Black Hermit Cauldron, Green Dragon Spring, Blue Mud Steam Vent, Yellow Funnel Spring, Pork Cop Geyser, Pearl Geyser, Vixen Geyser, Corporal Geyser, Veteran Geyser, Palpitator Spring, Fearless Geyser, and Minute Geyser. Roaring Mountain, Large Thermal Area That Makes a Hissing Sound. Gibbon River beautiful river popular with fly fishers. Virginia Cascades, three miles of old roads take you past 60-foot high Virginia Cascades, you can cross-country ski in the winter. Museum of the National Park Ranger, talk to a retired ranger and learn more about the history of the rangers who protect our parks. Popular day hikes. Ice Lake Trail, 0.6 miles RT, half an hour. Easy. Grizzly Lake Trail, 3.5 miles RT, 1.5 to 2.5 hours, 320 feet, moderate. Monument Geyser Basin, 2 miles RT, 0.5 to 1.5 hours, easy. Norris Geyser Basin Trail, to Porcelain Basin, 1.6 mile loop, 0.51.5 hours, Easy vertical bar to back basin, 2 mile loop, 1 2 hours, easy. Winter tours. Most park roads close by early November, but that doesn't mean you can't still see the park. Once there's enough snow in the park, roads open to over snow travel only. This usually happens by mid December, when you can hop on a guided snowmobile or snow coach tour. This is a unique time to see the park since the crowds are much smaller. By mid-March, plowing begins with plans to reopen to normal cars in mid-April. Note, only authorized companies can provide tours. You can also apply for the non-commercially guided snowmobile access program here. Wildlife Viewing One of the main reasons people visit Yellowstone National Park is to see the wildlife. Some people refer to Yellowstone as the Serengeti of North America. You can find bears, bison, elk, moose, and more. When to go? Animals tend to feed early morning and evenings so they are more likely to be up and moving around. Bears come out of hibernation in March and April, then head up to higher elevations when it's hot in the summer. If you're hoping to see wolves, coyotes, and foxes winter is a great time because they are easier to see against the snow. Their pups typically come out in May. Where to go? Although it depends on the season and weather, these are generally the most popular areas to view wildlife. Fishing Bridge, Grizzly Bears Hayden Valley, Bison, Black Bears, Elk, Grizzly Bears, Wolves Lamar Valley, Bison, Black Bears Bighorn sheep, elk, grizzly bears, mule deer, pronghorn, wolves. Mammoth hot springs, bison, black bears, elk, mule deer.